Welcome to Suffrage School. I'm Robin Spencer, Associate Professor of History at Lehman College and author of The Revolution Has Come, Black Power, Gender, and the Black Panther Party in Oakland, California. Today, I wanted to share with you a speech by Angela Davis that's part of the digital collection of Radcliffe Schlesinger Library. In this important speech called Women, Race, and Class in the 1990s, Davis offers an important retrospective of the women's movement. As an activist who was born in 1944 and whose life evolved and unfolded and intersected with the women's movement for citizenship, rights, and political voice, Davis is an important commentator on the evolution of that movement. It is very clear that we have established ourselves as a powerful historical force, not only here in the United States, but all over the world. If you advance the video to the 10 minute mark, you'll hear Davis talk about the category of women and the way in which feminists from the 1960s flattened the distinctions and important historical differences between the experiences of black women, women of color, and white women. She talks about the importance of understanding race and class and sexuality as overlapping and intersecting identities and experiences and histories that cannot be collapsed into any universal notion of woman. Her speech given in 1989, the same year that Kimberly Crenshaw coined the term intersectionality, really speaks to the various ways that feminist thinkers were at this time thinking about women in politics in very nuanced ways and critiquing and challenging the centering of whiteness in how women was conceived. I feel that this is the historical moment when we are able for the first time in our history to develop strategic means of building multiracial women's organizations and of transforming the institution of women's studies into a truly multiracial institution. Davis's speech highlights longstanding debates that are still raging today around the question of the relationship between race, class, gender, sexuality, and her retrospective in 1989 on the movement for women's rights in the 1960s and 70s can also be extended further back into earlier iterations of women's activism, even around the 19th Amendment. There are people today who don't realize that they wouldn't be where they are today if it weren't for decades and decades of struggle and sacrifice. 